How you doing? This is Tom Watson from Transparent Releases and Current Sound, and we're going to attempt to make the most express piano tutorial video you've ever seen in your life, because YouTube only lets you upload 10 minutes. And uh, I tried to do it before, and I accidentally swore, so this is take two now. <laughs> it's hard. We've only got 10 minutes, guys. So uh, a lot of people come to me, they go, hey, Tom, um, I want to make some sort of a uh, BP kind of music. You know, I, I just, I'm just going to play it on the computer. Well, good luck to you for programming for hours, but I can play it in like two seconds, so. All right, so I'm gonna show you how I played that. That was very, very simple electro track. Now, that would have taken you maybe, I don't know, like 10, 20 minutes to bloody program that in. Oh, if you might be able to do it quicker than that. Anyway, I'm going to show you very quickly in under one minute how to play that, okay? So guys, here we go. This is a C major. C, E, and G. I'm playing a double octave underneath. A C and another C. All right. Now, we flatten the middle one to a minor. There's C minor, okay? Now look at what I'm playing when I do this. I'm playing this, aren't I? That's part of that chord, okay? And then all I've done is jumped up the octave, right? Okay? Simple, okay? Anyone can play that, you can play that. You can make a song, and you've only been learning piano for like, what, one minute and 30 seconds. Okay, let's learn something a bit harder now. So, we've learned our C minor. Now, if you mess around for quite a long time, it's gonna take me a little while to be able to do this, guys. Okay, I'm not expecting to do it straight away. If you wanna make like a guitar sort of solo sound, you can be using these notes, so maybe like a, a C, uh, E flat, F, and a G. I'll chuck in a B flat as well, okay? So it's based around the blues scale. And you guys... Can do some sort of guitar -y type, sort of electronic, it almost sounds a bit like 80s sort of solo, okay? Using that same chord. Now, what else can we do with that chord? Oh, right. What do we have here? A cool, nice, trancy pad thing, okay? We can play that chord like, uh, let's play it up here maybe, okay? Can make some cool strings. You can start to add in the seventh. The seventh chord adds a B flat. So we're just adding a B flat now. Okay? We can play the B flat. We can play like a double octave. We can make some cool sort of string thing. We can go down to a B flat chord. And then maybe like a, a, a flat. We can resolve it back up to the, the C again. Okay? How did I do that? Well, I'm going to show you how I did that. We're just going to learn another chord, another two chords. This is an A flat. A flat, C, E flat. There we go. And uh, this is the minor. The minor always flat in the middle one. Flat means semitone to the left, note to the left in the corresponding scale, and uh, a semitone to the right um, is sharp. Okay. Okay. Actually, it's not even always in the corresponding scale. It's just flat. Flat and just means a note that way. So anyway. That was the A flat major, third so bow. And see, look, I'm playing a C, I'm playing the same chord, the C, C minor seven we learned earlier. And I'm just taking A flat bass under it. This is the A flat chord. You can play all those octaves. You can add another C on top of that. So you're playing lots of notes at once, okay? It sounds pretty cool. All right, so we've made that sound now. And uh, to actually uh, learn how to play real songs okay this has only been three three and a half minutes how much have you learned in three and a half minutes guys okay now to make real songs you're going to need more <laughs> no more than three chords so let's learn some more chords because you can see the chords help you make songs guys any sort of pop song okay so that's what we learned before c major c minor now this is c sharp major and c sharp minor let's play it up the top here so you can see it again Okay, so what am I playing exactly? Well, I'm playing a C sharp, I'm playing an F, I'm playing an A flat. All right, easy. Now we're going to go to the next chord. This is a D major. Okay, see our D major? So it's a D, F sharp, and A. And then we can drop it to the minor. So we flat in the middle one. D, F, and A. Now we're going to the E flat major. E. G and B flat, sorry, E flat, G, B flat. Okay? Now we're going to drop that to the 
minor. Okay, so the middle one gets flattened. It's always just the next note, semitone down. Major, minor, major, minor. Major is supposed to sound happy, minor is supposed to sound sad, and uh, diminished, it's kind of like scary, <laughs> right? But you don't have to learn that. Where are you going? Where are you going to use that, guys? Okay, so there's your major and minor. Let's go to the next chord now. Five minutes, 20 seconds. Okay, so here's your E, E, G sharp, B. Now, we got E, G, B, that would be your minor. It's easy, it's the same thing. We're repeating the same thing now, it's starting to get boring. It might be it's gonna be boring. But uh, piano is repetitive. Your fingers are going to remember movements. You look at my fingers now. I'm not really changing. I'm just going up and down the keyboard, aren't I? Doing my major and minor, okay? I'm not really actually changing uh, the spacing of my fingers or anything. So your fingers will remember movement, just how you remember how to how to drive or, or ride a bike or even, even walk. It'd be just like walking, okay, eventually. Now, um, I can't even remember what chord we did. <laughs> I think we're up to F now. So here's F, F, A, C. And we're going to flatten the middle one and go to minor, okay? F sharp, F sharp, A sharp, C sharp, major, minor, major, minor, G, B, and a D. Major, minor, major, minor, okay? We're just flattening the middle one. A flat, C, and an E flat. Major, minor, major, minor. Okay? A, C sharp, E, major, minor, major, minor. And now we're up to here. We're doing a B, B flat, D, and an F. Okay? Major, minor, major, minor. Now we'll go to a B. So we're playing B, D sharp, F sharp, major, minor, major, minor. Back to where we started. That are all your major and minor triads that you can use to make pop music. Most pop music is revolved around these chords, okay? So you can make any sort of music. You don't like trance, who cares? You don't have to use it for trance. People in rock bands are playing this stuff, man, okay? So just, uh, it's, a, it's applicable to anything you hear on the radio. If you're not hearing a drum or a guitar, right, then you're hearing a piano in most cases, except for the vocalist. <laughs> okay, you're hearing a piano. You don't know. You don't know it's coming from a piano, did you? Okay, so you've learnt everything. It's only been seven and a half minutes. I'm going to show you how you work, work out an inversion now. So an inversion is a different way of playing the same chord. So here's your C. All right, there's your C major. Now we're going to invert it. So what we do is we take the bottom note here and we're going to play it up the top. We keep those two notes there. So watch those two notes stay, and we're going to add that one on the top. This one's gone. It gets put up the top, like that. That's an inversion, okay? And then this note from the E goes up the top here, like that. And then bottom note goes on top. So the bottom note just jumps up an octave. This is an octave when a note is repeated, okay? So this is the C major inversion, okay? Now we can do that for the minor as well. We can do that for the C sharp. We can do that for the C-sharp minor. We can do that for the D. I knew I was going to make mistakes. I'm playing this pretty quickly. <laughs> there was one little one. Okay. I'm trying to do this in only a few minutes now. Yeah, we can do this for every single chord. Maybe I won't play it for every single chord because you've seen me play the chords, okay? But practice that for every single chord and keep going up. Ooh. I should just quit while I was ahead, wouldn't I? I? Slipped. There we go. Doom, doom. Okay. Maybe I'll do them all. How are we going for time? Oh, less than a minute left. This is getting hard now. How are we going for time? 45 seconds. <laughs> Do I have time to do the last one? I'm going to start talking at the same time. Okay, so if you guys are interested in learning how to play this sort of stuff, you can come to my piano tuition at Current Sound. It's in uh, Adelaide, Australia. Oh, Australia. <laughs> it's hard to talk and do this at the same time. It's in Adelaide, Australia, guys. That was the last one. I played better. And uh, yeah. I'm going to be posting up some new videos on YouTube. Only got uh, nine seconds left. That was my express piano tutorial in only under 10 minutes. Years of piano in under 10 minutes. Okay, check it out, guys.